ಸಂತೌ ಸಂತೋಷಯತ ಸಂತೌ ಶ್ರೀಲೂಪ ಸನಾತನ ದಾಕ್ಷಿಣಾತ್ಯನ ಭಟ್ಟೇನ ಪುನರೇ ತದ್ವಿವಿಚ್ಯತೆ ತಸ್ಯಾ ಗ್ರಂಥನ ಲೇಖ ಕ್ರಾಂತವ್ಯುತ್ಕ್ರಾಂತಖಂಡ ಪರ್ಯಾಲೋಚ್ಯಾಥ ಪರ್ಯಾಯ ಲಿಖತಿ ಜೀವಕ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಸಮ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಅನಿಶ್ಚಯದ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫಿನಿಷ್ then after that we'll be continuing our discussion from 163 anuchchad onwards so can anyone quickly so recall from last class and say something why everyone is so late i am ill thinking that there will be no class might be thinking ah eh? acha so we were discussing about so which holy name has destroyed all the sins of ajamil the last holy name are the that means before at the time of death he took narayana that one or otherwise in his whole life that means at the time of name giving ceremony he took narayana name so at that time which one destroyed the name taken at the time of name giving ceremony that that name has destroyed all the sins so to say this prayena cha aprayena cha yanna masmaranan runam sadyo nashyati papau gho namastasmai chidatmane <clears throat> from padma purana we are seeing that prayena cha aprayena cha yan nama smaranat nrunam so papau gaha sadya nashyati by remembering whose name people's the entire sin pile of this sin is destroyed to him i pay my obeisances like that it is said that means yan naam means whose name by taking by remembering whose name people's entire sin is destroyed to him i pay my obeisances it means so here whose name krishna's name lord's name by remembering the lord's name people's entire sin is destroyed so this is the statement from padma purana based upon this according to this and also jara marana dashayam api sakala kashmala ನಿರಸನಾನಿ ತವ ಗುಣಕೃತ ನಾಮಧೇಯಾನಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪಂಚಮ ಸ್ಕಂದ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೋ ಜ್ವರ ಮರಣ ದಶಾಯಾಮಿ ಸಕಲ ಕಶ್ಮಲ ನಿರಸನಾನಿ ತವ ಗುಣಕೃತ ನಾಮಧೇಯಾನಿ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ they are going to destroy all the contamination they are going to destroy all the contamination at the time of death 
are at the time of jwara jwara means diseased condition even in the diseased con diseased condition so based upon these two shlokas we are seeing the holy name is taken at any condition is going to destroy all the sins so that's why ajamila when he took lord's holy name that means at the time of name giving ceremony at that time itself all his sins were destroyed kshina sarvasya api so then after that because of that because being purified so from all the sins so he was able to so chant once again narayana's name by the help of the lord at the time of death <clears throat> अथनयतनयताशेषनिष्कृति यदसौ भगवन्नाम म्रियमाण समगृहीत सो यू सी सिक्स टू थर्टीन Sixth canto, second chapter, thirteenth sloka. Vishnu Dutta is saying this. अथ येन मनयता यू पीपल शुड नॉट टेक हिम कृताशेष कृत अशेष अघ निष्कृति कृताशेषाघ निष्कृत यदसौ भगवन्नाम मृयम समग्रहीत i should translate this line actually so then only you will understand so what i am claiming so that means sila jugo sam is saying <coughs> so ajamilas all the sins are destroyed by the taken name at the time of at the time of name giving ceremony that means by the taken name so at the time of yeah this is the statement how can you say this so for this so 6 to 13 is the proof 6 to 13 second sixth and second chapter 13 so what he is saying atha yenam ma apanayeta you people should not should not take him atha yenam yenam means him this person you should not take this person otherwise 
to where to hell who is saying this vishnu dutas are saying to yamadutas vishnu dutas are saying to yamadutas you people should not take him should not take this person to hell why me so what kind of person he is what kind of this is there is a adjective for this what kind of person he is kruta ashesha agha nishkrutim that means he clean all the all the sins he cleaned all the sins ashesha that means ashesha means entirely that means entirely all the sins entire all the sins means entirely so nishkruti means cleans he cleans all the sins yad asau so so because of that because of that yet means so as math because of that this person aso means this person this person at the time of death at the time of death able to is able to take holy name what it mean from this you should understand now you people should not take this person so what kind of person so he cleansed all the sins so he cleansed all the sins because of that he cleansed therefore because of that answer is can write therefore therefore this person at the time of death is able to uh, chant holy name is able to take samagrahit means take or chant chant holy name why he is able to chant holy name at the time of death because already he cleansed all the sins that means what previously that means before before taking the holy name at the time of death so he already cleansed all his sins that is clearly is visible here 63 na hmm. he, he was free from all kind of uh, sins hmm. how it is possible after chanting then and he will free na की की बोल से की हो बे कि किचु परेशान था समस्या समस्या
ಸೊ ಅಥ ಯಸ್ಮಾದೇವಂ ತಸ್ಮಾದೀನ ಮಾಪನೇತ ಕೃತಾಶೇಷ ಪುತ್ರ ನಾಮಕರಣ ಸಮಯೇ ಪ್ರಥಮೇನೇವ ನಾಮ್ನ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಹಿಯರ್ ಶಿಲ ವಿಸ್ನ ಚಕ್ರ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಈಸ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಥ ಯಸ್ಮಾದೇವಂ ತಸ್ಮಾದೀನ ಮಾಪನೇತ you should not you people should not take him vishnu duta sir saying to yamaduta you people should not take him carry him to yamaloka because kruta ashesha that means putra namakarana samaye at the time of name giving ceremony to his son prathamena eva namnaha by the first name so destroy etena ajamilasya prachina nama parada rahitam avagamyate this is the opinion sila vesna chakra thakur is bringing what is that etain ajamilasya prachina nama parada rahityam avagamyate because without repeating the holy name with one holy name everything is destroyed maybe nama parada is not having maybe he might be having the some seva parada or something whatever aparada but that gone with that one holy name okay nama parada needs to chant the holy name again and again again and again so so we have the four kinds of the anarthas sukrutotta dushkrutotta aparadotta and bhaktiyotta anartha in that especially aparadotta anartha that means committing the offenses towards the holy name in that case you need to repeat the holy name so by one holy name all the so offenses and sins gone means he doesn't have any nama aparad yes okay this is the point you should establish here so that's why sila vishnu chakra thakur clearly is saying etain ajamilasya prachina nama aparada rahityam avagamyate yad yataha so yataha nishpapatva deva because being clean from the all the kinds of the sins and offenses so mirimanah son that means while being uh, so being in the verge of the death nama samyak grahi grahit samyak agrahit that means papa satve mirimanasya jihvayam katha nama pradur bhavet iti bhavah if he is a sinful person at the time of how he can take the holy name but he is able to take the holy name at the time of death means he has no sins yaduktam geetasu even geeta is also said esham tu antagata paapam iti upakramya antakale tu maameva smaran muktva kalevaram yah prayati sa madbhavam yati nastyatra samshayah iti so even in the bhagavad gita also is said yesham tu antagatam papam whose sin is finished those people only so can come go back to the lord can take the holy name and can remember the lord at the time of death and go back so tena mrutyukale eva nama bhava pradhur bhava bhyam so nama paradha ಸತ್ವಾ ಸತ್ವೆ ಅನುಮೇಯೇ ಇತಿ ವ್ಯಾಚಕ್ಷೇತೆ ಸೊ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ತೇನ ಮೃತ್ಯು ಕಾಲೆ ಏವ ನಾಮಾಭಾವ ಪ್ರಾದುರ್ಭಾವಾಭ್ಯಾಂ ನಾಮಾಪರಾಧ ಸೊ ನಾಮಾಪರಾಧ ಸತ್ವ ಪ್ರಾದುರ್ಭಾ ನಾಮಾಭಾವ ಪ್ರಾದುರ್ಭಾವಾಭ್ಯಾಂ so nama bhava or nama pradur bhava bhava abhyam nama aparada sattva sadhi anume so then fundamental principle is like this at the time of death if that person is able to able to so take the holy name if person this is the person at the time of death if person okay one person this this person is able to take the nama if he is able to take the nama then you should understand that what no aparadhas no sin uh 
Aparadha have no effect in this stress project. And if there is no Nama at the time of death, yeah, sins are not clear. Sins are there. This is the, you should understand. So this is, at the time of death, he is taking or not? You should check. While taking the holy name, Hare Krishna, then left. Then you should understand that. That person is not having any sins. So, uh, if without Sankalpa Kanakishna put all that, uh, your conception is, perception is not there. Huh. Uh, you are only chanting, so that is also no huh. use. What is that? Conception, uh, perception. Means uh, you are not thinking of Krishna, okay. uh, but you are chanting Krishna's name. Uh -huh. uh, suppose in Ozamal's case, uh -huh. so he, he was not thinking of Narayan, he yes. was thinking yes. of his yes. child. So, so, uh, so is, is he really uh, calling Narayan? Yeah. So uh, somehow or other name should come out from his mouth. At the time of death, presence of name should be there. Name should, he should take the name. That may be. So uh, with bhava or without bhava, we don't mind. But if he is able to chant means at the time of death, at the time of moment of the death, you should understand that. No sins at all. Okay. Otherwise, how he is able to take? So, just from this now, today's class, what we understood, if you come back once again, what I said first, Ajamilas, all the sins are destroyed by the, so your name taken, by the taken name at the time of name giving ceremony, this is the point. So, this is the, by that name only, so all the sins are destroyed. So, next, how to prove this? And based upon what you are saying, 6 to 13, we are saying based upon 6 to 13. What, what is the meaning of 6 to 13? You people should not take this person. Who is saying Vishnu Dutas are saying to Yamadutas? You people should not take this person because the reason is, what is the reason then? So he cleansed all the sins. So therefore, he cleansed all the sins. Therefore, this person at the time of death is able to chant holy name. So this is the proof Vishnu Dutas are saying actually. So from this, what we are understanding? So ultimately, so at the time of death, someone is able to chant the holy name, means you should understand that there are no sins. And, and also if he is not able to chant holy name at the time of death, means he has a sins. So that we understood. And also, this all the sins are cleansed at the time of name taken by the, at the time of Namikyo Sarani means, what we should understand? One more point. Why that name? So at that time, he doesn't have at that time, he doesn't have any, doesn't have any, uh, offenses towards holy name. By one holy name, everything is cleansed means what? Kruta Asesha Agaharam is said or not? So, Kruta Asesha Agaharam. So, he cleansed all the sins we said by that name. That means by the first name. That means what? He doesn't have any aparada towards the holy name. If he has offenses towards the holy name, he cannot clean. Clean all the sins. That's the point. Okay? Yeah, Archana Bhakti Mataji, please. Prabhuji, if uh, one's chanting the holy name without any offenses, yeah. all the sins are removed. Yes. Is there a possibility that the person can commit offense after that? Uh, of course, definitely. After that also, Ajamal didn't commit any offense. Because even he is not a karmi. He is a gross, sinful person. He was just enjoying his life. Enjoy means miserable life. He is enjoying miserable life, so-called miserable life. And he is not association of with any devotees anywhere and just he is all the time. So, you should understand that. He didn't do any other 
offenses towards the holy name even later also because so at the first holy at the time of name giving ceremony he cleansed and after that at the time of death he is able to so chant holy name nicely that means it is understandable that in between from here to here he didn't commit any offenses towards the holy name Uh, you said that uh, the holy name removes all past present and future sins yeah. and also it is the holy name that removes all the offenses also so i just wondered if the holy name removes the future offenses also one second mata ji so holy name will remove the offenses means what kind of offenses so holy name will not remove the offenses which are done towards the holy name so by this for if anyone does the uh, offenses in future towards the holy name he has to take holy name he has to repeat the holy name again and again the future sins are removed but not the so offenses so the offenses can be committed at any stage right prabhu ji yeah. even after liberated one can commit offenses yes yes yeah prabhu uh... in case we could not hear he is chanting holy name so what how to consider that case because suppose uh, maybe he is chanting in his mind or we, 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 we did not hear that whether he is a person who is going to die acha uh, uh, then uh, how to take this <laughs> then how to say that he took holy name or not uh, so that's why you should not worry about that <laughs> you should not worry about that lord will take care okay <laughs> by knowing that what you will do <laughs> you will also follow like him his lifestyle <laughs> mike 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 so that's why we try actually we try at maximum at the time of death so we try to chant do kirtan and we try to so make that jeevatma to hear and some or the say 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 holy name holy name like that so but because of this high mucus this high mucus which is filling all the holes it's it's they cannot hear also your voice and such a heavy pain they get so while the soul is being removed the prana they will just so then <laughs> because conditions first they come so amaraj is having the death is having the different agents so those agents are sent to you in, into that body and they will be first doing their action they are trying to so attack like so king will not come directly for initially he will be sending his army Uh, army and army will be first taking will be will be conquering the that area then after the king enters yeah so death's army is very powerful army he is having all diseases these that they are all army of the death and they will be attacking first then after that <laughs> death will come death maharaj ओके सो कम टू अवर पॉइंट अथ ये नमनयता कृत अशेषाघ निष्कृति यदसौ भगवन्नाम मरियमाण समग्रहीत हियर इन दि श्लोक अशेष अघहरम अशेष वर्ड इज यूज दट मीन असना पर्यत दट मीन अजामिल हाज हाज प्यूरीफाइड हिज सीन टील वासना एक्चुअली दट मीन all the that means kutam bijam so prarabdha prarabdha all the sins completely destroyed agha shabdascha aparada paryanta iti that means even he here sir jiva gosam is writing even he purified all the offenses also ashesha ashesha akruta ashesha agha nishkrutim means here in this shloka 
ಅಘ ಅಘ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಿನ್ ಸಿನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸೊ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಸಿನ್ ಟು ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಅಫೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಫೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಫೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಸೊ ಸುಕೃತೋತ ದುಷ್ಕೃತೋತ ದಿಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಫೆನ್ಸಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಅಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಹೋಲಿ ನೇಮ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಚಾಂಡ್ ಹೋಲಿ ನೇಮ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿ ಡಿ ಡೂ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಸ್ನಾ ಚಕ್ರ ಠಾಕುರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವ್ ಮೋರ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ he is clearly elaborating that here jiv goswami said azamil clean from normal sin to the sins up to the offenses everything is cleansed he is saying who is saying jiv goswami but then vishna chakra thakur is coming and is explaining elaborately that here offenses means you should not take the offenses towards the holy name but other offenses so those can be forgiven like seva para dhama para something maybe if he is having those those will be finished by that but any holy any offense towards holy name is done then he has to take the holy name again and again again and again again and again avrutti is needed so that such that the most hurdle thing is this so that we should understand here atra marane sarvesham dainyodayah api ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವತ್ ಕೃಪಾತಿಶಯ ದ್ವಾರ ದ್ವಾರಂ ಇತಿ ದ್ರಷ್ಟವ್ಯಂ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಸಿ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೆತ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಮಿಸರಬಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಮೀಕ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಮಿಸರಬಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೈನ್ಯಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೆತ್ ಸೊ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ದ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಪೈನ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಸೊ ದೈನ್ಯೋದಯ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹೀ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಎ ಪಿಟಿ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಮೈಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಸೊ ಸ್ಪಾಂಟೇನಿಯಸ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದಿ ಹೋಲಿ ನೇಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಭಗವತ್ ಕೃಪಾತಿಶಯ ದ್ವಾರ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಮಿರ್ಸಿ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಡೋರ್ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಡೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆಮ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದಿ ಹೋಲಿ ನೇಮ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಮಿರ್ಸಿ ಇಲ್ ವಿ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡಸಂಟ್ ಎನಿ he he doesn't do any offenses azam will don't do didn't, didn't do any offenses and also he took the that holy name nama bhasa by that all the sins are clean but he doesn't have any any kind of desire to take holy name but still lots mercy is there and because of that situation is created so that he was able to take holy name so that's why we cannot take holy name at the time of death what maximum you can do at the time of death you cannot have the ability of taking the holy name that should be happening through the mercy of the lord but who on whom he will be showing mercy who ever clean their sins kruta ashesha agaharam so that means now when you are conscious when you are now in the proper conscious with consciousness at that time you should clean everything and be ready for that so that's why whole life is preparation for the death we are preparing for that preparing for the ias preparing for the so upsc or preparing for the <laughs> this prime minister post whatever these are all only temporary actually the real exam we are going to give at the time of death so that's why at the time of death all the holes are filled with the uh, because that is a procedure actually death follows some certain procedure to to cut the life air from the body it is having its own process so at that painful condition it's not so easy for anyone to remember so then lord's mercy in that pity condition so lord will be showing if provided if you don't have any sins then he will be taking the holy name <coughs> next 163 anushya any questions or anything in this ah yes one question puji only sin factor matter here at the time of death or offense factor also matter puji because mm-hmm. we have written only if we are having no sin then we can ever we, we will be able to chant the name at the time of death uh, ashesh the... everything kruta ashesh adharam what i said ashesh means from the normal to everything 
what we what we what if we have no sense what offense no sense offense no sense it is not possible then no not possible <laughs> you are applying permutations and combinations if offenses are there how sense will be clean but uh, that is also possible after the ruchi stage in the bhakti ruchi stage by that ruchi stage you will be finishing the klesha agni that means all the normal sins will be clean so then after that you will be having the only two anardhas sukrut aparado uh, tanardha uh, and bhakti tanardha so sins will be clean but aparadhas are there aparadha is also is more powerful sin that is nothing but so what is the point in that next 163rd anushyada what is said here tadevam adhikari vishesham prapyeva uh, you can see my file so tat tat phalodayah drishtah yathaiva purvam udahrutam yatha cha jataruchim prapya so tadevam adhikari vishesham prapyeva tat tat phalodayah so finally why we discuss so much about these things this this different kind of uh, results of the bhakti and all these things why we discussed because so we were discussing mainly about the glories of the bhakti so in that if you go back to the story just behind uh, if you go to the the story what happened before to this anucheda that means if you go back to the few anuchedas there we clearly discussed so what was going on we want to see the various glories of the bhakti how the flow is going so we were discussing about the glories of the bhakti so that means bhakti is supreme dharma bhakti destroys all gives the all the uh, fulfills all the bestows all the desires bhakti is uh, destroyer of all the kinds of the obstacles like this many many qualities we discussed from the anuchheda number 100 uh, 25 onwards so we discussed many glories so then after that in that glory section we discussed what even abhasa bhakti that means semblance of the bhakti is also so powerful and it can be resulting till it is leading to one to reach to the highest prema even abhasa bhakti is going to do that so it is leading to abhasa bhakti is also leading to the so highest prema that we have seen in the case of the two drunkards they are just uh, so just uh, uh, hasting the flag are the just they um, Uh, install the is the, they are just hanging or the just so shaking the some sticks uh, with the the old cloth and they got the fruit of installing a a flag in front of the temple so such a sukruti they got that we have seen so and after that they were delivered so finally so that that case we discussed and also we have seen not only the semblance of bhakti so not only semblance of the bhakti but also we discussed semblance of the bhakti with in the form of semblance of the bhakti in the form of offense in the form of offense is also leading to highest prema this also we have seen in which case we have seen this Huh? Ah, Rakshasa. Uh, many examples are there. Rakshasa wants to kill the Brahman, and also mouse. Mouse also when it took the so wig, wig from this. That means that is also offense, na? It did offense. That means. 
first of all it is not at all doing bhakti it is doing the semblance of the bhakti and that also in the form of offense so but still it got so these are the various glories we discussed so there we got actually this offense word we got there then we started seeing the so uh, hearing that if anyone does the offenses they should do the so repetition of the holy name so that means and we heard that even we heard various glories of the bhakti like one time holy name if you take that is going to destroy the past present and future sins so like this various glories we heard so then if someone uh, should not think it is exaggeration and uh, it should be actually uh, it should that means it's not the exaggeration so but we are not seeing these results are manifesting in the people's life one time holy name is going to destroy but it is not manifesting those results in someone's life it is not happening in the someone's life then what is the reason is that then we saw that offenses are the causes and then we discussed the so various results of the offenses so like this the whole section was glowing uh, going on this is the flow okay so finally in this whole section we heard many places if you do this kind of bhakti you will be getting this kind of result so this bhakti one and result one bhakti two and result two like this you heard that means if you take the one time holy name you will be getting this result and if you do the 10 times holy name you will be getting this result like that different slow different uh, statements we heard so so when these will become true finally we are saying if in some cases these results are not manifesting the reason is they are having the offenses so yes so if these results are manifesting means so this r1 this result one will be manifesting so into in that person who did the this bhakti one all right similarly result two is manifesting in the case of whoever is doing the so that bhakti so that's why here it is said tat adhikara vishesham prapyaiva so tat tat phalo dayaha tat tat phalo daya means these results are manifesting in that person's life so when he does this bhakti without offenses that are the conditions okay clear then only it is manifesting otherwise many times you will be seeing that in our life it is not manifesting we heard the glories of the bhakti in the scriptures but it is not manifesting because you are not becoming the adhikari to become adhikari you should not have offenses and you should be doing the that kind of bhakti then only you will be manifest so it is seen that after attaining a particular qualification only the particular results appear as it has been illustrated that means it is already so described so that's why please kindly go through the whole section again and again at least 10 times you should study 10 times if you study and if you explain to someone and if you meditate on that then it will be becoming the part of your knowledge not just by hearing one time hearing here is not sufficient so then you will be remembering only half knowledge is a poisonous is a poison for us it will be harming the others so if you forget the things and if you simply speculate something is from the class and something from the speculation then total new philosophy will be coming so that's it is a very crucial section it's very important for each and every devotee so i request everyone to go back and study this anyway i'm almost all i finished the that uh, exam questions another four five anuchchadas are remaining so that tomorrow will be finishing so i'll be sending the tomorrow evening the question bank for uh, exam from 100 1 anuchchada to 139 so you will be having the exam after 10 days from the tomorrow so the, that means last today you will be having the exam 
on the last day of the so closing this semester so you'll be having the exam okay that means not not the uh, this uh, newly joined people but the old old students who were in the module 1 yeah <laughs> so okay and what who joined recently so we'll be having the exam for you we started from 140th anucheda so you people should get to so i will see so when we sufficiently so finished then after that we will be conducting exam for you also so whoever is finishing those exam module 1 and module 2 okay module 1 exam pending is still pending so that's why i am going to finish that first then after that i will conduct exam for it. so new module 2 also okay so then now <clears throat> uh one example is giving so if you get that adhika if you become adhikari of that uh, so if you become adhikari of that result then that result will manifest yatha example is given yatha cha jata ruchim prapya if someone got the ruchi so ruchi towards the holy name so that kind of eligibility he got ruchi stage he got then what will be getting he'll be getting the certain result you see so one example is given for us 11th canto 6th chapter so 44th shloka tava vikreditam krishna nrunam parama mangalam karna piyusham aswadhya tejatyanya spruham jana tejatyanya spruham jana so Narada Muni is saying this. No, sorry. Uddhava is saying. Hey, Krishna. Oh, my dear Krishna. Human beings leave the desire for other objects after tasting your pastimes, which are nectar for ears and which are supremely auspicious. Tava vikriditam krishna nanam paramangalam. Okay. So that means if whoever, what do you, you should understand here? What is the result of this? Leaving the desire for material objects. This is the result. This result manifest in whose case? We are seeing the so example for this. So whoever is, so that result, what is that result? Leaving the desire for material object. So this will happen in whose case? What is the qualification is required for this? Qualification, that means jata ruchim. That means in whom the taste is awakened for the holy name. So and those people will be getting this. This result. This refer. So to reach, how to reach? That is explained in the so Madhuri Kadamani. Before this ruchi stage, they have we have certain. In that ruchi stage, actually, you will not be having any hankering for the material objects. Before that, nishta and anardhini vritti, you will be having the hankering for the material objects. Some hankering will be there. That gradual process is explained in another place, in another book. But this is simply we have seen one example. Next, one more place. Ata eva vuktam, Sri Vishnu Sahasranama Stotre. Na krodo na cha matsaryam na lobho na shubhamati bhavanti krutha punyanam bhaktanam purushottama. Therefore, it is said, because the following is said in Vishnu Sahasranama Stotram. What is that? O best enjoyer, O purushottama. So, the devotees who have performed great devotional activities don't get anger, envy, greed, sinful thoughts. So it is who perform great devotional activities, those will not be. So these are this is the result. Not having the not getting the anger, envy, greed, and sinful thoughts. This will be the true in the person who performed great devotional activities. <clears throat> Next 164th Anushada. Jata premanam prapya. So, someone who got the stage of the prema, then what will happen? What is the result of that? So, that we are going to see here. 
so the result of attaining the prema for the lord is said as follows whose example we are taking who is saying this here varkshit maharaj is saying about his condition already in his heart after hearing the nine cantos and previously from the day one he is a pure devotee of the lord so even after hearing the nine cantos of the shrimad bhagavatam at the beginning of the 10th canto he is speaking like this neshati dussaha kshannam tyakto damapi badhate pibantam tvanmukam bhochutam harikatam pibantam tvanmukam bhochutam harikatam rutam विवंतम त्वन मुकाम भोज चुतम हरि कथा मृतम वॉट इज सेंग परिषित महाराज इज सेंग आफ्टर हियरिंग दिस होल नाइन कैंटोस टू सुखदेव गोस्वामी सेंग न येषा अति दुस्सह क्षुंत माम बाधते दिस थ्रस्ट दिस थर्स्ट Uh, which is difficult to bear which is difficult to bear so even after leaving the water that means that means not drinking water leaving water means not drinking water this thirst is very difficult to bear that means thirst property is what is not is very difficult to bear and that thirst cannot give me pain that is not that cannot give pain cannot give me pain why 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 that thirst is not giving any pain even if he is not drinking water why since i have been drinking the nectar of hari katha which is flowing from your lotus mouth tan mukam bhochutam that means pibantam hari katha amrutam hari katha amrutam means the nectar of hari katha which is flowing from your lotus mouth so like this that means from what is the result here what is the result no pain from from the that's naturally every jivatma is getting the pain from the thirst and hunger these are giving the pain to every jivatma that's why we are working hard why we are working hard this is the reason actually because we are getting the pain from this two we want to come out from that that's why we do work hard to earn those so but person who attained the stage of the prema so who attained the prema so that person in there in his case then there will be no yeah there will be no uh, pain they will not be having any pain due to this thirst which is very difficult to bear so next 165th anushchad we enter into this so <clears throat> now so one more story we are going to start from here pure bhakti so from the 165th anuchchad onwards we are going to discuss about the pure devotional service many times we say what is this pure devotional service so rupa goswami also gave the pure devotional service definition so now we are going to discuss the so property so what is the pure devotional service we discussed till now in general way bhakti in this whole sandarbha if you see from the beginning so we understood we try to understand what is the abhideya what is the best process should be followed by jivatma in this material world so whether it should follow karma gnana or the yoga and like this we examined so based upon the conversations between the so shrimad bhagavatam speaker and listener so there are so many conversations are happening happened in the shrimad bhagavatam why we took only shrimad bhagavatam because shrimad bhagavatam is the is the highest pramana which we established in the tattva sandarbha already in tattva sandarbha we established shrimad bhagavatam as the highest pramana and that is the right source to get the knowledge and no other one is having the authority superior to shrimad bhagavatam that we discuss that we establish so that's why anything if you want to establish so in our life we have to refer shrimad bhagavatam 
so it is having the ultimate authority on us and now in that srimad bhagavatam so we are verifying the conversation between so various speakers and listeners so we are seeing the conversation and examining what speakers are recommending to the listeners to practice in their life what method they are recommending to practice in their life to listeners that we examined like we took the example we took the sota goswami and sonaka dirshis and after that so sukadev goswami and parshit maharaj brahma ji and so narada muni and vidur maitreya and vidura so like this so many examples we took and we saw we examine everyone is recommending bhakti everyone is recommending bhakti so that we discussed in detail in almost all 90 anuchchadas so almost all 90 anuchchadas we discussed this and but not only many things came anyway in this not only just to the establishing bhakti in each every and every conversation not only we did that but also in the meanwhile so in that journey we discussed many other things also any many things related to the bhakti so then after that we have seen from so 90 onwards so we have seen uh, this uh, bhakti is uh, is having the so various uh uh glories various glories so that we try to understand and also before that we establish this bhakti is sarvatra yasya sarvatra sarvada and in and other actually in shna before going to the glories of the bhakti we also uh, discussed some general characteristics of the bhakti general characteristics of the bhakti so like bhakti that means swatantra upasanam that means so one should not uh, do the swatantra upasanam towards the devatas and they should uh, actually um, uh, that kind of worship is not correct there is many many other general features or general characteristics of the bhakti were discussed then after that so almost all till 120 we discussed like that and then after that so we started discussing about the so various glories of the bhakti that means bhakti what it can do various glories of the bhakti we discussed ah huh. so so till now uh, till here 164 various glories of bhakti discussed from the 125 to so 64 and from the 90 to so 125 some general features of the bhakti were discussed until 1 to 1 to 90 so we have seen the so establishing bhakti as the abhidhya okay this is general thing what happened till now <clears throat> so now this bhakti okay so till now till 164 two kinds of the bhaktis we have seen yatha katam chit bhajanam that means worship done somehow or other example is case of the rat case of the, the two drunkards in the case of that bird who was taken into the uh, mouth of the dog and so on so on, so these are all what yatha katam chit bhajanam that means so here worship is performed somehow or other worship is performed somehow or other so that is one kind of bhakti we have seen and second is samyak bhajanam bhajana avritti samyak bhajana avritti that means so nicely done bhakti repetition of the nicely performed bhakti repetition of nicely performed bhakti this is a second bhakti we discussed till now these two both are having the results both are having the results both are effective actually yatha katam chit that means so even he is not having the sambandha gnana with the lord but uh, somehow or other bhakti performed by him so the examples also we have given that is described what we so we discussed till now 
and also we discussed so so nicely performed bhakti and repeating that avrutti so that is also we discussed vyakhyate what is said here vyakhyate yatha katam chit bhajana samyak bhajana avrutti tadevam bhagavad arpita dharmaadi sadhyatva tam vina anyesham akinchit karatva tasya hasvata eva samardatva swaleshena swabhasaadi napi paramartha paryanta prapakatva sarvesham varnanam nityatva cha sakshat bhakti roopam tat samukyam evatra abhideyam vastu iti sthitam iyam eva kevala ಕೇವಲತ್ವಾದ್ ಅನನ್ಯಾತ ಆಖ್ಯಂ ಭಾನುಮಾರ್ ಹಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಡಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸೊ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಅನದರ್ ಬುಕ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸು ತದೇವ ಭಗವದರ್ಪಿತ ಧರ್ಮಾದಿ ಸಾಧ್ಯತ್ವಾತ್ ತಾಂ ವಿನ ಅನ್ಯಾಂ ಅಕಿಂಚಿತ್ ಕರತ್ವಾತ್ ತಸ್ಯಾ ಸ್ವತಃ ಸಮರ್ಧತ್ವಾತ್ ಸ್ವಲೇಶೇನ ಸ್ವಾಭಾಸಾದಿ ಪರಮಾರ್ಧ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ಪ್ರಾಪಕತ್ವಾತ್ ಸರ್ವೇಷಾಂ ವರ್ಣ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವಾತ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ತತ್ ಸಾಮುಖ್ಯಂ ಅತ್ರ ಅಭಿಧೇಯ ವಸ್ತು ಇತಿ ಸ್ಥಿತ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸಾಮುಖ್ಯಂ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಮುಖ್ಯಂ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸಾಮುಖ್ಯಂ ಸಾಮುಖ್ಯಂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ನೋ ಸೊ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಟು ಇವನ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಂದರ್ಭ so why i am going because so students are newly joined actually so few classes before so some are from module 2 they joined so that's why i need to re- remind some fundamental points what is the main problem jeevatma is there from the beginning less that means from the anadi kala and at that time it is not having the any paratattva gnanam paratattva gnanam it is not having okay that means it is having the absence of so knowledge about the paratattvam because of this that jivatma is is entrapped by maya so that, then after that that jivatma is forgetting the so this jivatma is entrapped by maya so then after that so this so entrapped by the maya so then the next uh, then jivatma is forgetting his swarupa that means who am i and it is thinking himself as so body that means reverse viparita gnana then after that it is getting the pain material pain and pleasure so material pain and pleasure is nothing but the dukkham actually it's someone totally is going finally dukkham so now jivatma is in misery so now we have to bring out this jivatma we want to give the solution so we want to find the solution so why we study this book bhagavad bhakti sandarbha there should be some solution some kind of benefit na so we want to get out from this so then what is the best process for this what is the best process for this we are searching so that means jivatma ultimately this jivatma can be relieved from the pain when it gets the paratattvam it gets the knowledge about the paratattvam when it comes to know about the paratattvam then it can so paratattvam is in how many types it is in the brahma paramatma and bhagavan so okay paratattvam is three times that means paratattvam is three times paratattvam is not three but paratattvam is experienced or he is realized in three ways actually you can say so out of these so we established realizing paratattva in the form of bhagavan is only the 
uh, solution actually because that we discussed in those initial anuchedas itself that means ultimately jivatma so should get the knowledge about the bhagavan so then automatically maya will relieve so <clears throat> how jivatma can come to know about the supreme personality of godhead so then there need is some process that means when jivatma can come to know about the lord then it can so there is a need of some process some process what what is that process that is bhakti so jivatma should adapt the process of the bhakti so then what will happen this jivatma so can uh, find the solution can immediately relieve this jivatma is relieved from the clutches of maya clutches of maya this jivatma this is the thing we have so discussed bhakti so bhakti it should do so this bhakti is also what uh what kind of uh what, so what kind of bhakti what is this actually bhakti should do means what it what it mean what it mean now we are going to so discuss so what kind of bhakti is the is the is the process what kind of bhakti should be done what kind of bhakti should be done by jivatma what kind of that means what is the uh, so what kind what is the swarupa of this what is the swarupa of this what is the form otherwise what is the form of this bhakti that we should understand now so you are saying bhakti because from the conversations and many things we understood uh, person should do bhakti so to come out from this material pain that is okay bhai so but the problem is so what is this that we are going to establish so that is nothing but the sakshat bhakti sakshat bhakti that is sakshat bhakti is shravanam kirtanam so on so on so why sakshat bhakti only so why not other bhaktis karma mesra bhakti or aropa siddha bhakti why not all so that we are going to see this sakshat bhakti so which is nothing but the ananya bhakti ananya bhakti or which is also known as kevala bhakti which is also known as shuddha bhakti and like this so so we try to find what kind of bhakti is recommended for this jivatma we anyway we we read the so glories of the bhakti so so many glories and so there that means maybe that bhakti is a mesra bhakti or the aropa siddha bhakti or otherwise sakshat bhakti all this all together we heard so much about the bhakti but now what is really recommended for this jivatma among all those also so what the refined thing we want to find so then that that is nothing but the here it is said so what kind of bhakti jivatma should do that is being explained here bhak sakshat bhakti roopam tat samukhyam ev atra abhideyam vastu so sakshat bhakti roopam samukhyam sakshat bhakti roopam that means it's a direct devotion why sakshat bhakti only we should practice why so that means we are recommending for the jivatma to practice in his life what sakshat bhakti why we are recommending this reasons we have how many reasons five reasons we have there are five reasons to say uh, jivatma should practice sakshat bhakti what are those five reasons one by one we'll do now first bhagavad arpita dharma adi sadhyatvat
is any question until now anyone have please let me know any questions i'll send mata ji archana bhakti mata ji ಪ್ರಭು ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಭು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗೋಲ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ರವಣಂ ಕೀರ್ತನ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಕಾನ್ವರ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಶ್ರವಣಂ ಕೀರ್ತನ ಬಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಸಿವ್ ವಿ ಡಿಂಟ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಸಿವ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಸಿವ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ರಿಸೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಫೈನಲಿ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ so we, we did that also no problem like uh, karma offered to lord is uh, lower that we should shravanam kirtanam is higher and uh, uh, and yeah. like that nyani nyan marga nyana mishra bhakti is uh, full of difficulties like that all that we saw and uh, shravanam kirtanam was very easy to do all those we saw previously no? yeah yeah here we are going to see even in a more refined way that means so we are going to reject the so other kinds of the bhakti and exclusively we are establishing the so ananya bhakti is the abhideya for the or the kevala bhakti or shuddha bhakti is the various thing, is only the abhideya that we are going to establish now hmm. the reasons we are going to give now yeah that's true yeah our same points will be coming actually whatever you are saying those what we discussed those points once again are coming we are come discussing at one place those hmm. those were uh, distributed in that discussion various in various places now that we are seeing at one place the five reasons okay you will be seeing that these are all already discussed uh, yes yes bro so five reasons like five results of the offenses like five same way here also five reasons to uh to to say to say sakshat bhakti is the is the abhideya abhideya means the process need to be followed so first reason reason number 1 4 minutes 5 reasons ಭಗವದ್ ಅರ್ಪಿತ ಧರ್ಮಾದಿ ಸಾಧ್ಯತ್ವಾತ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಭಗವದ್ ಅರ್ಪಿತ ಧರ್ಮಾದಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಸವಾಯಿ ಪುಂಸಾಂ ಪರೋ ಧರ್ಮೋ ಯಥೋ ಭಕ್ತಿ ರದೋಕ್ಷ ಅಹೈತು ಕಪ್ರತಿಹಾತ್ ಅಪ್ರತಿಹಾತ್ಮ ಯಾತ್ಮ ಸುಪ್ರಸಿದತಿ ಸವಾಯಿ ಪುಂಸಾಂ ಪರೋ ಧರ್ಮೋ ಯಥೋ ಭಕ್ತಿ ರದೋಕ್ಷ ಅಹೈತು ಕಪ್ರತಿಹಾತ ಯಾತ್ಮ ಸುಪ್ರಸಿದತಿ ಸೊ ಹಿಯ what we are learning from this so we are learning from that dharma dharma ha huh? perform dharma perform for the dharma perform for the pleasure of the lord ultimately should lead to what should lead to what vasudeva katha ruchi vasudeva katha ruchi yes or no i forget all na huh? vasudeva katha ruchi is a goal or not dharma performed for the pleasure of the lord that means dharma sunishtita pumsam vishvakshena kathasu yah notpade ಶ್ರಮಯೋಗ ಕೇವಲ ಅಣಾಸು ಅಥ ಪುಂಬಿರ್ ದಿ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ವರ್ಣಾಶ್ರ ಭಾಷಾ ಸ್ವನಿಷ್ಠಿತ ಧರ್ಮ ಸಂಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಹರಿತೋಷಣ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ವನಿಷ್ಠಿತ ಧರ್ಮ ಸಂಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಹರಿತೋಷಣ ದೀನ್ಸ್ ಎನಿ ಧರ್ಮ ಧರ್ಮ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎನಿ ಪ್ರಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಎನಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನೈಮಿತ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮ ಯು ಫೆರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ವಾಟ್ ಪ್ಲೆಜರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಫೆರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಯುವರ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ನೈಮಿತ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಲೆಜರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಗೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ vasudeva katha ruchi that means what vasudeva katha ruchi is nothing but what directly desire to hear the holy names that means saksha bhakti yes sri chand prabhu we discussed already this is the first reason of course we discussed already that 
okay that means first reason is what sakshat bhakti is the goal for the all the other dharmas which we practiced for the pleasure of hari okay so that's why we should do what sakshat bhakti tasmat bhakti yoga na manas no no tasmat bhagavan satatam pati hi what is that ha huh? tasma so that's why even sota goswami also says because ultimately you whatever dharma you perform it should lead to the uh, bhakti only so then tasma dekena manasa bhagavan satatam pati hi srotavya kirti tavyasya dhyaya pujyasya nischeda so even sota goswami also saying because ultimately if you do the dharma for the pleasure of the lord it should lead to the uh, sakshat bhakti that means kasudev katha ruchi then why don't you do so also he said yadanudhyasina yadanudhyasina yuktah karma grandhi nibandhanu chindyanti ko vidah tasya kona kuryat katharatim so so by uh, who will not who will not accept this katharati so who will not that because by having the katharati by hearing the krishna katha this karma grandhi is cut down then better to directly chant the holy name and get the directly desire for the so doing the bhakti sakshat bhakti so from this we are understanding since sakshat bhakti is the goal of the all the dharmas which are performed for the pleasure of the lord so that is the first reason to say sakshat bhakti is the is the avidheya understanding you are not understanding yes yes no <laughs> huh? yes no na <laughs> yes no yes understanding or not understanding not understanding good because you are not there in the first module though it's difficult actually it's a bit bit difficult but uh, if anyone have the some problem so second module the you people came so don't worry so if you you can write to me some questions so that so i can also clarify or we can have the some yeah uh some half an hour or one hour something discussions on this no problem i have so if someone have the difficulty in this understanding this point what i am saying we established in the previous module anucheda uh, previous anuchedas so sakshat bhakti is the goal of the so dharmas which are practiced for the pleasure of the lord so that's why instead of practicing various dharmas for the pleasure of the lord directly we should do sakshat bhakti so that's why we are saying sakshat bhakti can be the more abhidhe better abhidhe than the following the dharmas for the pleasure of the lord yes or no sri chan prabhu yeah this is next and archana bhakti mas you are understanding yes yes prabhu ji okay mother thank you so next uh, second one is second reason i am going to uh, explain about the second reason uh, okay tadevam bhagavad arpita dharma dharmaadi sadhyatva tam vina anyesham akinchit karatvat then then next one more point tad without without sakshat bhakti we are not seeing seeing the results of results of other sadhanas yes or no many are there many examples many many references are there to say this that means without sakshat bhakti other sadhanas are not giving the results that's why then better to practice sakshat bhakti only why, why you have to practice other sadhanas so this is this is a direct point third point is so annesham kinchit karatva ಸ್ವತಃಸ್ವತಃಸ್ವತಃಸ್ವತಃಸ್ವತಃಸ್ವತಃಸ್ವತಃಸ್ವತಃಸ್ವತಃಸ್ವತಃಸ್ವತಃ
so that is another third reason so results of other sadhanas are achieved by sakshat bhakti alone by sakshat bhakti alone this third reason fourth fourth reason next okay thank you so next fourth reason swaleshena swabhasadhina api paramartha prapakatvat one more point swaleshena the sakshat bhakti even little bit of sakshat bhakti or otherwise semblance of the sakshat bhakti abhasa both little bit and semblance are enough little or semblance little or semblance of so sakshat bhakti sakshat bhakti little or semblance of sakshat bhakti are are successful in in giving in giving ultimate ultimate result okay next fifth reason and this sakshat bhakti okay this all features are there but who is adhikari for this sakshat bhakti then it is said that sarvesham varnanam nityatvat this is is ever exist it is it is available in or it, it can be it can be practiced by all the varnas by by all actually who is said narad muni is saying shavanam kirtanam that's a samanya manushya dharma in the qualities of the 30 qualities of the human beings we are seeing this shavanam shavanam kirtanam also yes or no so that means sakshat bhakti is is recommended for everyone by the shastra so because of these reasons so such a great qualities do and all these these points we are not going to establish this points already somehow or other we discussed in the different places of the previous anuchedas because of these five reasons we should practice what sakshat bhakti that can be the abhideya okay so then tomorrow we'll see so for that any questions related to this yes mata ji Prabhuji, what is the second point, Prabhuji? Yes, Mother. So, second point is without Sakshat Bhakti, so we are not seeing the results of other sadhanas. So, other sadhanas are dependent on Sakshat Bhakti to produce their result. So, then why we have to such a uh, dependency is there? Then why we have to follow other sadhanas, Karma Gnana? Even why we have to do Karma Gnana Mr. Bhakti also? What is the need of that? better to do the sakshat bhakti only because other sadhanas they are not having any. even bhakti is third point is saying that bhakti can give even the result of other sadhanas also by itself huh in the market now you have the karma gnana karma gnana mr bhakti gnana mr bhakti bhakti sakshat bhakti what you will select then in the market all these are available in the shop what you will select It's also said now that uh -huh. Lord gives material results uh -huh. uh, two, three, two, one or two times, then don't give. Uh -huh. So, uh, so, uh -huh. so there is no benefit. No benefit of Sashat Bhakti. Icha uh Pidanam. -huh. He will be. He will not give means he will close the 
<laughs> desire itself material desire itself prabhu ji the second and third are linked isn't it because but, but, second one is saying without bhakti other sadhanas don't give result uh, uh, so yeah. therefore sadhana i mean sakshat bhakti is the uh, abhideya you are saying yes 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 so in the second point we are seeing mata ji so other sadhanas are not able to give their result that means karma will give the some swarga so then it with it itself cannot give it needs the help of sakshat bhakti and third point what we are saying bhakti stand alone without help of karma and gnana to the swarga there is a difference others are dependent on bhakti and bhakti is not dependent on others to give others results also there is a difference in the second i am just trying to understand the second one how that leads to the conclusion that uh, yeah uh, yeah is the abhidaya uh, yeah because in the second point what we are saying without sakshat bhakti other sadhanas so we are not seeing the results of other sadhanas that means other sadhanas means what like karma so gnana and yoga all these sadhanas so they are not giving the results karma will give the so swarga example result is gnana will give the brahman brahma kaivalyam uh, brahman relation next to yoga will give the so paramatma so this kind of paramatma realization these sadhanas these three sadhanas are dependent on sakshat bhakti to give that means what so they are not so why we have to then practice this kind of dependent sadhanas they are not potent enough to give their result by themselves so this point is saying that so then so such a dependent sadhanas we need to to follow on whom they are depending on on whom they are depending let's go and practice that only best and on the top of that what the sakshat bhakti is able to give itself the all these results so swarga the sakshat bhakti alone without help of karma and gnana they are also able to give the swarga it is able to give the swarga brahma and brahman realization and also paramatma realization so that's why this this is second point and this is third point so it is clearly concluding that better to practice sakshat bhakti only Guruji, yeah. so, if result of other uh, uh-huh. karma gyana is dependent on pure uh, pure devotional service, then uh-huh. without performing pure devotional service, we will not get this result also. Not pure devotional service. Don't use this. Sakshat bhakti use. Okay. Uh-huh. We'll... Uh-huh. Pure devotional service. Sakshat bhakti. A uh, sakshat bhakti. Uh-huh. Sakshat bhakti. Uh-huh. Then it means while doing performing anyone if he is performing gyana or karma uh-huh. and he is getting result, then uh-huh. we can conclude that he is also doing sakshat bhakti. that's why he is getting result mm mm-hmm. mm so some portion of sakshat bhakti is needed actually yeah so while doing karma or gyana he is doing some portion of sakshat bhakti yes 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 it, it is needed otherwise that will not lead to the result then he should not get this result he should get a result of sakshat bhakti uh, but uh, he is desiring uh, he is making this sakshat bhakti as only servant na he is not seeing sakshat bhakti alone so he is having the consciousness of practicing karma then you should call him as a karmi because some portion of sakshat bhakti is there in that process but he is known as what whatever majorly he is doing that with that only you will be identifying him so someone is cooking so he is also sometimes uh, uh, teach that cooking to someone it doesn't mean that he is a teacher he is a cook only or otherwise he might be so cleaning something so sometimes cook cook he is cleaning the stove you cannot say him one little activity he is doing then based upon that you cannot say he is a cleaner he is a cook so yes sir no so same way so bhakti and karma both are there so major portion is that in the karmi's case why you say him as a karmi why don't you call him as a bhakta because majorly he is doing the karma and so little bit he is doing the 
bhakti sakshat bhakti that and that's why he is known as karmi <clears throat> okay so we'll see any other questions if not so we'll go and we'll meet tomorrow thank you very much shri prabhupad ki